You wouldn't believe what I just did the other day. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> or maybe you would. Only one way to find out. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Naisha here. I'm just your average girl and I am on the road right now. I am heading to Orlando. Why? Because there is a special event tonight. It's called the Orlando Informer. For one night only, you get to, um, you know, you get to go to the park. It's not like Halloween Horror Nights. It's, you know, I don't know if it's going to be decorative like that, but I know for a fact that it's going to be amazing from what I've um, heard about and, and seen from the comments. So uh, apparently they do this yearly. So um, we're going to be checking it out. So on with the show. Now that we've gone through security and all that stuff, the next thing we need to do is get our tickets for tonight. But I'm just gonna let you know now, I am so glad for this event because right now this place is crowded as hell. So, as you can see over there, that is pretty much where we have to wait in line to pick up our tickets for tonight's private event. All right, so mission accomplished. I'm gonna head to my hotel and I'm gonna wait because five o'clock, that's when the magic begins. I still got a good oh, hour or so before it's time. So for now, I'm just gonna rest my eyes just a little bit, probably watch a little bit of TV. And then tonight is the night. All right guys, so in the next 30 minutes, it's gonna be showtime. It's so much cooler than it was before. But I mean, I, like I said, it was still 96 degrees according to my car, but right now it's just so much better. It's a lot cooler and I can't wait for tonight. Guys, seriously, this is like the most amazing thing. Not only did I earn myself a ticket to ride the Pterodon Flyers, which is, of course it's a kiddie ride, you're not allowed to ride it because you have to have a kid with you or a kid, uh, you know, is, it's pretty much a kiddie ride. But because of this event, it is giving you the one time opportunity to be able to just ride this ride. And I'm going to record every bit of it, just letting you guys know for those who've never been on that ride so that you can experience it along with me. But not only that, but I also got to see Matt Korn. Matt Korn is the social media specialist um, for Universal Studios. If you have an annual pass holder, you can um, add yourself onto Facebook. They will add you. And like I said, it's like meeting a star itself. So right now, um, time is 4.52. We got eight more minutes before it starts. And so I was told to go, that we're gonna go ahead and start with Universal Studios because that's gonna be the first one to start. So let's get to it. All right, so in order to be a part of the informer, you have to wait in this long, long line. Because I guess we're taking the back entrance. Check it. We even get the red carpet special. See, it makes me feel special that, you know, they do this nice little red carpet feel for you. And like I said, they took us to the back entrance. So from here on out, I think we get a chance to actually explore the park. The thing is, the sun is going down and it is getting a whole lot cooler. Um, walking around here and all that stuff and behind me is um, This one uh, area where they say that if you knock on the door three times Someone's gonna peek out of the window. So let's see if this is gonna happen. Oh, there he is 
There he is peeking out. And because it is getting darker, it's time to light things up. All right now, so the object here is now that it's getting a little darker, I think it's time for me to start checking out the rides. Now I have been looking at them. Some of them are about, oh, maybe 20, 30 minutes long. Some are five, some are 10 minutes. But um, what we're gonna do is we are gonna tackle Universal Studios first and then make our way over to Islands of Adventure, of course, via train. So let me see. I think the first ride that I should be tackling is Men in Black. My score ended up becoming a colossal average. I mean, after all, I'm just your average girl. So it, it's the perfect, you know, name for my, for my winning streak. Anyway, I made 125,000 which was a little more than what I did the last time. But once again, I had pretty much my own cart and this was awesome. So now that we tackled this, let's go on to the next ride. We're right here over by the Simpsons ride. So on with the show. I can't believe it, E.T. actually said my name. The, every time I ride that ride, I get nothing. But the fact that I think those team members actually took the time to put my name on it. Good night. And, and the fact that it actually pronounced my name correctly, I thought that was phenomenal. So, all right. I mean, hey, we have all night to try out all these rides, rides that I've never done before rides that I love and will always keep doing. So now it's up to my next challenge. The Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket Roller Coaster. I hope I can do this. Okay, so that was indeed the most insane ride I have ever ridden on. I mean, seriously, the drops are insane. <laughs> but no, I, I honestly had a good time. I, I was I was afraid when I you know went up 90 degrees, but those drops, man, were incredible. two more rides on this end to tackle before we head over to Islands of Adventure. So we still got Transformers and we still got Harry Potter Gringotts. So we're going to go and tackle Transformers, then we're going to go to Gringotts, which will take us to the train to Islands of Adventure. Now that we finished Transformers, which I'm hoping I have enough time to come back and do just one more ride, because like I said, that's my all-time favorite. Optimus Prime is my love. So anyway, we still have uh, Gringotts left, and then we are going to take the train to get over to Islands of Adventure, because I still have to have that Pterodon ride that is only meant for kids, and I still have that virtual ride. So I want to grab that before that closes. So on the Gringotts. Now, I have to admit, this was really nice. There was a booth nearby that, you know, if this was your first time, four, third, fourth, fifth, you get like a button. So, as you can see, here's my first button, first meetup, and then someone made a custom button that says OI, um, OI Epic, or Orlando Informer, you know, Epic. So, 
um, we're back in Gringotts. So far, I think fire has been down because Mummy didn't have fire. And um, I think another ride did not have fire and I was just really, really disappointed. And all day, the dragon has not blown any kind of smoke. So we're just gonna go to Gringotts and then hop on over to the train. Of Green Dots and I found out that possibly 12 o'clock the halt might end. That's why I'm trying to hurry over to um, Islands of Adventure to see if I can catch it. If not, I may have lost uh, a chance to ride one of those fantastic rides at night. But we still got Harry Potter, we still have Spider-Man, we still have King Kong, and we still have that Pterodon Flyer. So let's try and uh, get over to Islands of Adventure. I tried to make it over here to Islands of Adventure, but there's just so much stuff to do and so little time. Because let's face it, at five o'clock, there's still a huge crowd of people. So you don't get to really experience, you know, all of the park to yourself or with your friends because you're still waiting 45 to almost an hour. But as slowly as the park starts to close, that's when, you know, you have to either just like jump all the rides, skip the queues and skip the, the scenic route and go straight to the rides if you want to be able to tackle all of them or the ones that they have available. So like I said, I'm going to double check to see if the Hulk is there. If not, we got to tackle that Pteranodon Flyers. So yeah, so unfortunately, as I thought, the um, Hulk ride is over. I missed that opportunity, but right now I am trying to zoom over to the pterodactyl um, ride and hopefully I didn't miss that opportunity. So let's try and hustle. The good news is I have not missed the opportunity for the pterodon riders. I just saw a few people gliding around this area. So I'm going to take this opportunity and you guys are going to see it. Oh wow, look at the moon from up here. great so I think we got a good 30 45 minutes left so I'm gonna try and tackle Kong and I'm gonna try and tackle um, Harry Potter before it before this whole thing ends unfortunately I also missed all the rides um, that was left here spider-man doom Harry Potter I only was down to three more rides that was left but hey guys I had a blast up in here, so I'm about to make my way over um, to City Walk because right now they're pretty much shooing us out. <sighs> Seriously, I had the best time in my life. I don't think there is anything else that can top that. Well, there is one thing I haven't done yet.
Well, I am an annual pass holder after all.